Hey, this is Morgan with Even Tech. Today in this video here, I've got this Intel Compute Stick. Normally, I would show you an unboxing video and everything of an item, um, but I was thinking this, at the time, $99 computer, and they the price on it fluctuates, but purchased it on Amazon for $99, and I threw away the box. I just opened it up. I was thinking, this is a $99 computer. It's not going to be anything revolutionary. It's probably just going to barely do what I want it to do, um, which is just show and display a stream on boot up uh, of a video stream feed. So I didn't really think that it was going to be anything impressive. However, after going through the setup process and using it, this is a pretty capable little stick. I mean, you can see I don't have big hands by any means, but it has no problem fitting in the palm of my hand. The power brick, on the other hand, is rather large. I believe it's a 5 amp or 5 volt up to 3 amps. So, I mean, obviously, it does need some power. I'm sure when it's at maximum capacity and is really using, uh, you know, all the power that it can get, it comes with a little adapter, of course, in case if uh, your TV has an indention or this can't stick straight off the back of it, it does come with this adapter. Um, so that you can have a little flexibility on how you mount it. But after using it, I I've been very impressed with this. This is the Intel Atom Edition, 2 gigs of RAM, and 32 gigs of storage space. The one complaint that I would say I have about this, you know, 2 gigs of RAM is kind of on the low side. Uh, Atom processor is not that powerful. But the storage is probably the biggest downfall of this at all. I know it has an SD card slot and it's got USB slots if you need them, but I'll tell you why. Windows has had some difficulties with releasing updates and there's been some ups and downs to all the updates they've released. Well, one of the bugs that they have is if your device requires an external device for storage, that once it applies the update, that device changes, you know, from say the I drive USB to H or something, it doesn't like it and it'll fail to update. So that's the biggest downfall that I would say right now. If that wasn't an issue, there would be no issue even with the 32 gigs because it has no problem holding the operating system on that 32 gigs at this point in time. As time goes on, you couldn't really have a whole lot installed on it. But again, look at the size of this device. You could easily go to a web browser and, and, you know, view the web browsers, stick this in the back of your TV, access, uh, you know, shared files on your folders at home and stuff. I, I mean, there's a lot of functionality that you might use a large computer for that it's totally not necessary to have a large computer. And this thing has a power button, has a 2.0 USB, a super speed USB, and like I said, the SD card slot, the micro SD card slot. I, I, was, I was absolutely blown away by the power that this one provided and they have other tiers if you had the money you wanted to spend you can spend 300 and some odd dollars 350 or something like that and buy the core m m3 with a little bit more ram i think and 64 gigs of storage so provide you more storage and overall faster experience and then if you really need a pretty fast compute stick all this in the same general form factor you can put the m5 you can buy one with the m5 mobile processor in it and uh, again more RAM than this one and 64 gigs of storage as well and I bet I bet that thing would be really nice to use it wouldn't be a hindrance and you really wouldn't have to worry about running across anything that it really couldn't handle that you needed to do on on your living room PC as far as remoting into another one or something like that to actually do any heavy lifting but won't a nice fast experience if you just want to use the P this as a PC itself you could have and you know, add plenty of storage to it to utilize it so I can't say enough for you know a 99 or a hundred dollar to hundred twenty five dollar compute stick you compare this to some of the cheaper nooks or off-brand Windows 10 PCs and this one absolutely just just knocks the socks off of most of them as far as it is it is a very rock solid device has a small little fan here can get kind of warm 
Um, but overall, like I said, I I threw away the box thinking this was not going to be impressive. And, and here I am in front of you telling you how impressed I am with something that costs so little. And on top of that, is is just that small you know and and the look of it is very nice and clean it reminds me a lot of the old kangaroo pc that didn't really go over well but uh has a really neat look to it and the kangaroo one had this dock thing but it reminds me a lot of that as in it's actually nice to look at it doesn't look cheap it doesn't look bad in any way shape form or fashion um, just know that if it's going to do, if it's going to work as hard as it can, you are going to have to put up with some big bulky charger like this. If you just try to use the USB off the back of your TV or something, um, you know, it is going to be limited on power and it may not even run. I'm not for sure. Everybody's TV can be slightly different, but you know, I'm sure it has a minimum amount that it needs to actually function properly. So if you're interested in one of these or want me to do a little bit more in depth video, show you some more information on it. Um, I may be able to do that. Just let me know in the comments. And um, I'll have a link in the description to it. If you like this video, please hit like. If you like videos like this or, uh, you know, general computer videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, this is Morgan with Tech. We'll see you again in the next video.